Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Paul, I'm with Dicey Review. Today we have Havenfall set up for a complete solo playthrough. Um, I am currently using the green player and I'm using one of the promo leaders, Loom the Forgotten, or Lume the Forgotten, however you say that. Um, I do want to uh, quickly mention that I'm probably just gonna go ahead and, and play through this and I'll try and explain a few things uh, as I'm playing so that you can get an idea of how the solo playthrough will go. Uh, the only, the main difference is that there is a player board over here with some special components um, that you will be using from an, uh, if you use the sword, there's three different AI decks that you'll pull from. There is a monster spell deck and then the monsters themselves are kind of separated out in a special way and then they move down the track to slowly attack you. Other than that, there's these crystal cards that get turned over every turn and then that is the main uh, that's the main the difference, uh, the, the few differences. I will also say that it is pouring outside, so I apologize if you hear some ambient rain noise. Hopefully you don't mind that, uh, and you just find it soothing. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get straight into it. So the first sequence of every turn in the solo game mode is you're going to turn over one of these crystal cards. The first crystal card that we've turned over, it says, play the monster spell deck, and whether or not it affects you, trash it after it's played. So in the single player mode, the monster spell deck is kind of a separate spell deck that you separate out, and then they will do different things. So let's see here. The first one that we drew is Confusion. So Confusion is basically uh, going to say, flip a hero deck face down for each pixel you exhaust. So I don't necessarily know if I'm going to exhaust a pixel this turn, so we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so that's in the discard pile, and let's see what happens. Now, <clears throat> we did draw our shield card, so I would like to exhaust a pixel here, but I think I'm going to hold off and not activate the shield so that I don't have to flip a monster deck or a, 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 a hero deck face down, because basically what will happen is the monsters will start to attack you every turn, and when they attack you, they flip down a hero deck if you can't uh, kill a monster off. So... Basically what I've done is I have generated three copper. So I would like to um, be able to buy some better heroes. So I think what I'm gonna do is my first turn, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a silver. That costs three copper. I've spent the three copper. So all of these things will go to the discard pile. And once again, I will not activate the shield's ability because I don't wanna flip a hero card face down. So at the end of the turn, we're gonna start revealing monsters and they're gonna start to move down the track. If a monster ever moves off of the minion one space, it's going to go into the deserted or defeated monster space rather, and it's going to start attacking us based on its rank. So that's the first turn. I'm gonna go ahead and draw five new cards, which I have right here, and then flip over the next crystal. This one says discard and redraw your cards in play with the same amount of cards. Okay, so. I'm going to discard my five cards and basically redraw five new ones here. So let's see what happens. All right, five new cards. Be kind to me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. So this time we drew the Spellbook, the Shield, and three Copper, which is actually pretty great because what I'm going to do is I am going to use... Okay, so I'm going to trash some copper here because what I want to do is I want to start getting rid of my I want to start getting rid of my bad cards. And what I will do is I will spend the 3 copper to gain a she uh, gain a treasure uh, a spell rather, sorry. This and I redrew reflect here, which is basically ignore an attack uh, which will be very helpful in the future. And I'm going to keep that one right here. I'm going to keep it face up in a multiplayer game you're supposed to keep it face down but that's, it doesn't really matter um, in this version of the game since we're just playing against a, an AI opponent here. So I have used my three copper to, uh, let's see here, I've used my three copper to gain a spell. I think I'm gonna go ahead and trash one card, and I know that that's gonna mean that I don't get to draw six cards next turn, but I will draw better cards. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and trash that card um, at the end of the turn, this monster will move down, a new monster will be revealed, and we are going to start to see, sorry, we're going to start to see some, some more and more difficult monsters come out. The first few monsters that you face, two, three, four, five, 
are going to be uh, a little bit easier, the first 10 monsters, and then the last 12 are very hard. So this is great. So now I have drawn my first, my silver that I bought here. So now I'm generating, let's see, five copper. So I can start to buy better and better heroes. And I also drew the sword. Um, I can't really fight anything right now. Sorry, this should reset. And before I take my turn, I need to flip over a crystal. All right, I get to discard a random card in play. So I may lose one of these. I may lose one of these really good cards. So that might make the difference of me getting a, okay, I lost a copper. That's not the end of the world. Um, so I can't use the sword yet because I don't have a red pixel. So I need to remedy that. I think I'm going to spend four, I think I'm going to spend four uh, copper to get a shapeshifter for a couple of reasons. The first reason is the shapeshifter, shapeshifter has a green ability that allows him to uh, basically pump himself up against bosses, which is fantastic because that's how you win the game. And then also he's just a, a pretty good all around hero. So after that, these are gonna move down here and hopefully I can maybe start to defeat some of these minions so they won't start attacking us. So I'm gonna draw one card and then I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle up these cards and draw four more. I would like to get a red pixel too, so I think I may focus on either minion two or, I don't know, we'll see. One, two, three, four. Got five total there. Um, let's see, I need to, that would be six and two. I might be able to do that. Let's see what we draw. Oh, before we do that, a crystal. Uh, two plus treasure, monster attacks do not affect you. Holy cow, what a turn. And I drew nothing but copper and silver. So this is a buy turn. Uh, let's see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have got eight copper to spend, eight treasure to spend. And eight treasure will allow me to buy an elite guard, which I think I will do. Monster attacks do not affect us, which is great because the first monster is going off of the board, which normally means that a rank two attack would hit us, which would flip down uh, which would flip down a rank two hero, but that does not happen. And now we start to see some red monsters available to attack. And we're gonna, we're about to start drawing some really good heroes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we draw. All right. So first off, we got to turn over a crystal. This is neutral. Nothing happens. So that's good news. We did draw our shapeshifter, the shield, and the sword. We may have enough to defeat a monster. Let's see, we've got two copper here. We've got the shapeshifter, shield, and a sword. So in total, let's go ahead and add up our damage. We've got four damage and five health. Oh, that's not enough. That is not enough to beat either one of these, either one of these minions. We need more damage, which we don't have. So what I think we will do We've got two copper. I think we'll go ahead and exhaust this to draw six cards next turn and then flip over, uh, uh, draw a squire rather. So we're, we're spending two to get a squire. We've activated our shield, which means we'll draw six cards on this next turn, but we are gonna take a monster attack. So a rank two monster attacks us. And when a rank two monster attacks us, they flip face down a rank two hero. Um, and this one looks like it can be a hero of my choice. Um, the Assassin is one that I haven't bought yet, but I really like the Shapeshifter, so I wanna leave that one open and maybe get a couple of those in my deck. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move these down. Now, when these, uh, when these are turned face down, we cannot buy from them. Um, and the way that we turn them face up is we attack and defeat a minion or a monster, or boss rather. So I'm gonna to get to draw six cards this turn. So let's see, that is one. Shuffle this up and see what we get. We should probably start trashing some cards pretty soon because we've got a couple of really good heroes. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see what happens with this. First, we gotta turn over our crystal. Negative one treasure. That I don't think is gonna be a problem this round because, ooh, maybe it is. Well, I wasn't planning on buying anything but I don't think I have enough damage to defeat anything. And I actually don't have enough treasure to buy a spell. I don't have, let's see here. So I did draw my shield, which means I can draw six cards next turn, which means I will for sure get my, 
elite guard, which should be enough to defeat somebody. Um, okay, so really the only thing I can do here, how many cards do I have in this deck? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I was thinking is I could trash a copper and get rid of some bad cards in my hand. Uh, we are going to have a rank three attack, which is going to be, hmm, that's going to be a rank three hero flip face down, which is okay, but we've really got to start taking out some minions. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, oh wait, oh no, I could, I'm one away. I was about to say, I thought I might be able to defeat that, uh, that Grawl Summoner, but I can't. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use one of my pixels to trash a card, which means I'm going to get rid of this copper. All of these are going to go into the discard pile. This monster is going to attack us, which means that a rank three hero will have to get flipped face down. And I will pick the seer. And this next turn, I'm really hoping that I can defeat or five, a minion or a boss, because we really need to. We really need to start defeating. Okay, I think we should have enough. We drew the Elite Guard and the Squire, so that should be enough. That's going to be six and five. That should be enough to at least defeat a minion. Uh, yes, it is enough to defeat a Armadillo. <laughs> so we'll take it. All right, because that means we won't get attacked, and we will also get to turn one of our decks face up. Okay, so this resets. Um, we're going to, first off, turn over a crystal. Monsters gain plus two damage and plus two health. Okay, I think we're still okay with the armadillo because it's a 1-1, one, one, so I think we're fine. So what's going to happen is I am going to go ahead and attack. Now, I currently have six damage and five health. This armadillo with its plus two, plus two is a 3-3, three, three, but we're still safe. So we are going to attack this armadillo, which means that we defeat that armadillo. These move down. This gets flipped up to fill in. We gain a yellow pixel, but most importantly, we get to flip a deck face up again. And I think I'm going to flip the seer face up um, because we've still got a few options in rank two. We've still got our rank one uh, unit available to buy. So I think this will be good. All right. So we have gained a pixel. So now we are starting to get our engine going, which is good. But we also need to cull down our deck and make sure that we get some some better monsters. Now, when you defeat a monster here, uh, when you defeat a monster on turn, they don't attack, okay? So that's another bonus of defeating monsters is that they don't attack on that turn. So now we're gonna get to take a new turn. I draw five cards. There's two there. I shuffle and draw three more. Let's hope we get enough to start defeating some more monsters. Either that or really start trashing through our copper because we do have a couple of pretty solid heroes three, four, five, um, that can buff other heroes. I would really like to defeat a red monster because a red pixel would open up some cool abilities for me with uh, both my sword and the elite guard. The elite guard's ability is so strong. Um, okay, so first things first. I turn over the last crystal. I think we are okay for the first round. So now we have completely shuffled through all these crystal decks. So what's going to happen is we're going to reshuffle and start drawing them again. And now, since this is, since it's the second time through the deck, we're going to start affecting uh, ourselves with tier two, which is the middle text ability. So we've, we're kind of on a countdown here. So we reset our pixels. We've got a sword, a shapeshifter, three copper. What can we do? What can we do? Well, we've got a rank two hero about to come off and attack us. We currently have four attack, and let's see here. You know what, we could trash two cards. That might not be a bad idea. We really need to start culling down our deck. Ooh, what can we do, what can we do? Yep, I don't think we have enough to defeat anything. I am going to use this turn to trash two cards, which means I'm gonna get rid of these two copper. We really need to do that badly. Uh, this should be over here, sorry. These get discarded over here somewhere. And we will uh, sustain a level two attack. Okay, so a level two, I already bought a shapeshifter. I think I'll buy a swordsman if I can. So I'll leave that face up. And what kind of, pretty soon we're gonna start getting into the rank three, four, and five monsters as well. So we're really on a timer here. Okay, 
I'd love to defeat a boss, because if I can defeat a boss, I get my leader, and the leader is so powerful. Um, let's see here. First crystal, negative two treasure, add a trashed copper to your discard pile. Holy cow. Well, that that's kind of a kick in the gut. All right, so five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. There's a really good chance we drew some of our good stuff here. So we reset our pixels. We've got a spell book. Oh gosh, we actually didn't get exactly what we need. We did get three treasure and a shield. Um, holy cow, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and we could reflect and then buy another silver or buy, let's see here, yeah, we could do that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my spell. Spells can be used in addition to the normal action, so I'm gonna use this to reflect and ignore an attack, play the attack back on that opponent when it is your turn. Now, I'm not sure, let's see here, yeah, I'm not sure how that affects, I don't think I can reflect an attack back on the opponent right here, but I think I just get to ignore an attack, so that's good. We do that, now, we can't really kill anything, but we could buy something. So I think I will use, we could buy a spell and it wouldn't be an action, but we used our pixels so we wouldn't be able to trash anything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy another silver. Put that in the discard pile, turn these back in, and then let's see what we draw. We're gonna draw the elite guard, which will be good, and hopefully we'll draw enough to defeat a minion. And I think a, an attack still happens, but we just don't take any damage from it, so that's good. Um, okay, rank three. I think we might still be in our lower enemy deck. We've got ten cards, and I think there's only one, two, three. Yeah, so we're still in our lower enemy, but we're, I think, we just maybe tapped into the bad enemy deck that has higher ranking enemies in it. Okay, so one, two, three. We have a total of five cards in our hand. Reset this. Let's turn over the next crystal. Discard two random cards in play. Holy cow, that's not good. Oh gosh, the shield and the squire. Jeez, that would have been helpful. And we're left with copper. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. Uh, shapeshifter and copper, and we're not going to have a level one enemy out there. I think the only thing I can really do is we can, let's see here, we can, you know what, we could trash two copper. I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna trash two copper. We have got to start drawing our better cards. We will sustain a rank two attack, and we've really gotta start defeating these people. Okay, so now, oh, we have, a, we have a one one. Okay, this is our chance. Holy cow, this is our chance. Hopefully nothing crazy happens with our crystal card that we draw, because now we are about to draw one, two, three, four, five more cards, and I'm pretty sure there's at least one good hero in there. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we might have a chance to defeat a leader. So monster attacks do not affect you. That is fantastic. So let's see what we drew. Um, well, we drew a spell book, we drew an elite guard, and we drew some money. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have four four. That is not enough to attack or defeat anyone. This is bad, but we don't sustain an attack this turn, which is very good. And we have shrunk down our deck. These reset. So what we are going to do is cull our deck even farther so that we can hopefully draw a pretty effective attack every turn, and then on some turns draw enough to buy more heroes. So we're trashing. Again, we're trashing two copper. We are getting rid of these terrible cards. Monster attack doesn't affect us this turn but we are really, I think, gonna be, yeah, rank five. Okay, we're in the bad deck. We're in the powerful deck. So we're, we're really on a timer here. But it's not the end of the world because our total deck now consists of, let's see, six, seven, eight cards, which means every turn we are going to be drawing some combination of our shapeshifter, elite guard, and squire, hopefully, and then enough money to buy new stuff. Um, and I think I really want to, all right, so we draw one, two, Let's shuffle. I really want to focus on attacking. I may just go ahead and cut spells out completely 
We'll see. I, I don't want to. I don't want to call my spell my spell book just yet, but I may late game call my spell book to really focus on attacks. So three, four, and five. All right. So we reset our pixels. We draw a crystal. It is the monsters gain plus four and four, and double the effect of monster attacks. So our obvious target this turn is the dragon whelp because that becomes a five five, and we just drew. Oh my gosh, did we not draw enough? We didn't draw any of our good heroes. Holy cow, we might not have a 5-5 five five here. Oh my gosh, which means we would, have, we would have two rank three attacks, which would almost kill us. So we could survive maybe one more turn, but we're really going to have to kill a minion, which we, we should definitely be able to do next turn. And we might be able to do this turn. Let me just add, do the math here. So we've got, let's see. No, we don't. We don't have enough this turn. And we don't really have enough silver... Let's see here. Okay, so we could get we could get four treasure. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna gain four treasure and buy a swordsman because we desperately need better, better warriors here. We are going to activate the shield, which will allow us to draw six cards, and we are going to sustain a double rank three attack, which means both rank three heroes are flipped face down, and we are in dire need of some help. We do have a weak monster to fight this next turn. And depending on what we draw, because we are drawing six cards, so we draw one, two, three, and I know that we are drawing our shapeshifter, which has uh, a bonus that we can activate against bosses. We may be able to defeat a boss. It would take a lot. We need 15 and 11, but you never know. We could get lucky. One, two, three. We've got six cards. We got to turn over our crystal. It is neutral. Holy cow. The chance is now. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, gosh, I'm nervous. Oh, did we draw enough? Ah, I don't think we did. I don't think we drew enough. Uh, let's see here. We drew four treasure, a shield, a spell book, and our pretty good heroes here, but not all of them. So we are currently going to be at... Oh, uh, you know, we, re we really need that red pixel. So I think our move this turn is attacking the red pixel. We have enough treasure to gain a spell, so we're going to go ahead and, and gain the spell, which means we pay three and we gain the spell. We gained uh, demote. Damage and health of the monster is the boss location is reduced down to a minion. Oh, that is I love that spell. Okay, so we need to gain a red pixel and a blue pixel to be able to use demote, because that's going to be that's going to be very handy. I feel like, and we will go ahead and let's see. So we've spent three treasure to do that which was not really an action. We've spent a, uh, a pixel here to activate our shield to gain six cards, and then we're going to attack the Dragon Whelp. We have more than enough damage to do that, which will get us a red pixel, which is fantastic, but more importantly, it will allow us to flip a deck face up again. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip the Assassin face up, because we don't have an Assassin in our deck just yet, and that could be really good. Um, Okay, and we have a somewhat weak boss. Let's see, we're gonna get to draw six again. We might have a chance, although the crystal deck is not necessarily, we, we, we just drew our neutral, and we, I think we've already drawn our good one this round that actually helps us. So we're probably gonna have something bad happen with the crystal deck, but let's see how bad it is. Uh, reveal the next crystal from the deck. You may return or discard that card. That's not too bad. Return a purchasable card if you do not defeat a monster. Okay, I feel fairly confident that we might be able to defeat a monster next turn, so I'll keep that in the deck, and I will go ahead and see what we draw this turn. Okay, fantastic. We drew a swordsman, a sword, a squire, uh, and we have the, the pixels to activate our sword now. Now, we only have three pixels, which means we're probably not going to get a super strong monster, because we're gonna, or a hero, rather, because we're drawing from our first deck here. But actually, we might have enough to, to go ahead and defeat something without using... Uh, let's see here. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's just see what we can do. We've got... Let's see here. How much attack and defense are we, are we looking at? Base attack and defense, we've got uh, 5, 7, 7, 5. We're looking at 7, 5 right now. That is not quite enough to defeat. Huh. 
That's not quite enough to defeat the Dwarven King, but if I use the sword, sword, Swordsman's ability, sorry, I had trouble with that word for some reason, uh, I might be able to switch over and get enough attack and defense. Because right now we have the reverse of what we need, but the Swordsman has a really cool ability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the swordsman, Swordsman's ability. So right now, what we are at currently, let's track this. We are at... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack, okay, and five health. But we are going to activate the swordsman and convert two of his attack into health, which is going to give him, make him a four, one, which will basically do this. We'll get to switch our attack and our health, which is exactly what we need to defeat this orc and champion, okay? These pixel abilities are stupid are cool. I love them. Okay, so I defeated an Orcan Champion, which means I gain another green pixel, which more pixels are always better, and we do not sustain an attack this turn, and we get to turn a deck face up. So let's go ahead and turn face up the Shapeshifter. Actually, you know what? We've got a couple of four-cost heroes purchasable. Let's go ahead and... Well, we've got enough treasure to, pur to purchase four easily, and I really like the Shapeshifter's ability. Also, I'm going to activate the Shields ability to draw six cards next turn, and I'm also going to activate this Treasure to gain four Treasure and buy a spell. Okay? Lots of stuff that we did there. Uh, radiate. Trash a silver card in play and replace it with the Arcade card Diamond. Oh man, that's a great card as well. Hopefully, I might be able to activate that and really make my Treasure efficient because the Diamond has five Treasure on it, so it's basically you, you don't need many other treasure cards. Okay, so I'm drawing six. There's one, two, three. Uh, let's shuffle here. And remember, this next turn, we've already seen the crystal. Four, five, six. We basically have to defeat a monster, which I think we might be able to do. We've got six heroes here, or six cards, rather, and, uh, and the ability to really buff our, our heroes because I think if we drew... Yes, we drew our elite guard. Okay, fantastic. So, we're really going to have a chance here, and, and we'll show you how this works with our pixel abilities here. Okay, so we drew our shield and our sword, which is great, because that's 2-2. Two, two. So we'll go ahead and just mark that we've got 2-2. Two, two. Then, with our elite guard, we've got 6 more attack, up to 8, and 7 more, let's see, health, which will put us up to 9. Okay, so currently for the leader, we need 12, 14. Let's see if we can get there. What we're going to be able to do is we can buff our shapeshifter and give the shapeshifter plus 2, 2, which will get us up to 11, let's see, 11, 10. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off in the middle of a, of a very important battle. <laughs> So let's see here. We've got um, we've got eleven ten after buffing our shapeshifter with the elite guard, and we could activate the shapeshifter to gain plus three three. But would that be enough? That would put us up to let's see thirteen attack and fourteen damage, which would not be enough. We would need one more attack. So that is not enough. So here's what we're going to do. Instead of doing that, we're going to leave our base stats. We're going to attack, let's see here, I think we're going to attack the giant worm just to, just to keep from having to discard a card. And here's what we will do. We will activate our shield to allow us to draw six cards next turn. We will activate our Radiate card here to trash a silver card that we have in play, which is one of these, and gain the diamond, which is right here, which is a fantastic card, which means we'll almost be able to trash all of our silver because this is a super efficient treasure card. And we currently have enough to defeat the giant worm. We're going to do that. We're going to defeat the giant worm. We really need a blue pixel because that will allow us to defeat our first monster our boss pretty easily by using the demote power. 
So I think that's our target next turn. So we'll, we'll see. Um, so that gets us a yellow pixel that allows us to flip a deck face up, which is going to be one of these. The monsters do not attack this turn, which is fantastic. And we draw six cards on our next turn. Now, this is all going along fine and dandy, but we're, we're on a clock here. We're about to step into tier three of our crystal cards, and those are really bad. <laughs> we do not need to do that. Um, so one, two, three. I really want to get our leader into the fray here. So play the top two monster spells. Oh, I hate that card. All right, top two monster spells. The first one is Succumb. Now with Succumb, after buying a hero, we're going to have to flip a card face down. I don't think that will take place this turn. Mind Trick, return a chosen pixel to the game board. Oh, crud. Okay, well, I think the one that I could most easily lose is probably yellow. Man, that hurts. Okay, I do not like to lose pixels. All right, so we are back and we're ready to rock. Who do we have here? Oh man, we have got some good stuff. We might be able to defeat a boss this turn. Let's see. Um, let's see here. The shield. Holy cow, we've got the swordsman. All right, this is looking good. This elite guard just really makes everything click in this uh, set of in this set of heroes. Okay, so here's what we've got. So base attack, we are currently looking at, looking at nine, right? Four, four, yeah, five, so nine. Looking at nine base attack, okay? That is wonderful. Base health, we are looking at, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine as well. Fantastic, nine and nine. But we're about to change that. And I think we might be able to get to 13, 13. I think, I think we've got a chance. So this is really starting to look up. Okay, so first off, what we're gonna do is we are going to activate the Elite Guard, and that's going to give us a 2-2 a two -two buff to two other heroes. I think that's it right there, because that's 4-4, four, four, right? And then 4-4, four and four, yep, 13-13. That gets us right up to 13-13, which is enough to fight this, uh, this boss, which this is amazing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and activate our shield for next turn to gain uh, let's see here, to gain six cards, and we're gonna activate this treasure, making it four, to buy a free spell this turn, which is fantastic as well. Frostfire, switch a pixel with an opponent, you choose the pixels, okay? That seems like it might be helpful, because I could hopefully get a blue, which would allow me to get the demote. But honestly, this round, I have enough to defeat a boss, which is amazing, because what's gonna happen is, not only am I gonna get my, pix my pixel, I'm gonna turn this card face up, but, I'm getting my leader, which is amazing. This, uh, this leader is wonderful. We have enough pixels to activate his ability, which is able to fight any monster as a minion or a boss, and you just have to take one less point. But honestly, that's so strong, um, it, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. And because we defeated a boss that was rank four, we get four points. Woo, that's awesome. Okay, so now we have, ooh, the Queen of Naira. That is not good. All right, so one, two, three, but we're gonna get to draw six because we activated our ability here. And honestly, we have every hero we could possibly need to defeat something every turn. So we may take one more trash action since we're so, since we're so close, so that we could just draw a wonderful attack team every time. If we draw like all our treasure cards in one turn, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's enough. I may go ahead and trash down everything except for heroes so that I'm just really focusing on attack. All right. Let's see here. Okay, first crystal card is monsters gain plus six and six, double the, the effect of monster attacks. That is brutal. So, holy cow. Yeah, we've got basically, um, we could, if we used the demote, Frostfire, oh, I don't have what I need. I was about to say we could make it to where, well, unless we draw our leader. Did we draw our leader? No, we didn't. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am draw I'm I think I'm gonna take a trash action. And holy cow, I know, I know this is gonna be crazy. We're taking two rank five attacks though, if we do that. Oh gosh, we might not be able to do it, because rank five we lose two points. We would we would essentially lose all the points we just gained. So this is kind of a brutal turn. Let's see what happens. Um, man, I need a blue pixel. Shapeshifter, sword, gosh, I don't think we have enough to do that because of the 6-6 six, six thing. 
Okay, we might have to... All right, so we might have to just take a really, really punishing attack to hopefully get the right kind of deck that we need to really defeat these monsters every turn. Because we're going to be drawing six every turn if we do this. Okay, this is how we do it, all right? Hopefully this will pay off. I am losing every... I think there's a silver left in here, so we might draw one treasure per turn. But we're also going to draw all of our really good stuff, okay? So here's what I will do. Before I trash my spell book, I will go ahead and activate... Actually, I don't even need to. I will go ahead and buy a spell because I've got seven treasure out there. Um, all abilities are free for cards in play. Holy cow, that's really good too. And then I'm going to spend four treasure to trash all four of these cards. The diamond is amazing. The sword is good. I mean, all of these are really good. The spell book, I know this is, this is really risky, but what that means is I still have my shield so I have the ability every turn to draw the same hand of cards, which is going to include my leader, an elite guard, and all of the heroes that I've purchased so far. So I really think this may pay off. Now what stinks is that these are going to get discarded, and I'm going to take two rank five attacks, which means I lose four points. That is, that is tough. Okay, that's really hard. But that's probably the worst card that I can imagine in the treasure deck. So uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, and I need to draw a fifth card. Okay, so now let's see what terrible thing affects us. If a monster is defeated, it does not move to the defeated monster location. All monsters then move left. Oh, does that mean I take an attack no matter what? Oh, that's brutal. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, well, you know what? This is okay. I think this is okay. I am going to go ahead and... I've got my Swordsman. I've got the Elite Guard. Holy cow. I've got some good stuff here. I'm going to activate... No, I can't activate the... I need, to, I need another green pixel. So I won't be able to activate the shield every turn if I use the Loom the Forgotten's ability, but I'm definitely using Loom the Forgotten's ability to make... Uh, or do I need to, honestly? Uh, let's see here. The attack, it's 14 and 12. I'm currently at... Let's see, 8, 11, yeah, I need to, 13, unless I activate the Elite Guard's ability. Okay, if I activate the Elite Guard's ability, that's going to give me 6 extra attack and health, which is way more than enough to defeat. So that I'll do that. I'll go ahead and activate the Elite Guard's ability, which lets, lets me defeat this rank 4 hero. Now, it doesn't move to the defeated pile, but I do gain 4 points. And I do get to, well, I don't even need to flip a card over, but I will need to once this, uh, I guess I'm still going to take an attack this turn no matter what. But I do gain a blue pixel. Thank, thank goodness I get that. Okay, so I've gained four points. This is great. Uh, I have activated my green ability to draw, sorry, and I've now activated my green ability to draw six cards on the next turn, which means I'm going to draw every card, and I will have to sustain a rank 4 attack, which means, uh, let's see here, that I will have to return a pixel to the game board matching the monster color, which was blue. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, that's okay though, because I'm drawing all six of my cards every turn, and I have the ability to uh, use... Loom the Forgotten's ability to fight a leader as a minion. And actually, I don't even think... I may not need to because of this... Because of my Elite Guard's ability, okay? Because here's what I've got. I've got a base attack of, let's see, 6, 9, 13... Uh, yeah, 15 attack, and then 10, 12, 16, 17 health plus 6... I've got way more than enough to just defeat the Orc Chief if I use this, the Elite Guard's ability. Okay, so first thing i got to do, I've got to turn over... Oh, discard three random cards in play. That is crippling. Gosh, I thought I was in good shape. Jeez Louise, that's a tough card. I'm probably going to discard my leader. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, gosh, okay. I still drew Loom. 
which means I should probably be able to defeat at least one of the lower level. Do I have enough? Seven and five? Yeah, I do. I have enough. Okay, so I'll go ahead and... Actually, I may have enough. Nine. Okay, cool. I'll just use Loom's ability this turn and still, and still defeat a leader. So... I'm using two to fight this as to fight the war chief as a minion. I have seven, nine, ten, and then seven, nine. Yeah, I've got enough. Okay, sweet. So I defeat this. Uh, I defeat this monster, which gives me four points because Loom's ability lets you fight them as a minion, but you have to take one point less, which is not the end of the world in this case because now I got enough to activate my shield every turn. I don't sustain a monster attack, and assuming I can defeat a boss this next turn, I win. So I really think I'm in good shape here, but I do have some more crystals to turn over, and dude, those things are tough. Okay. All right, so first off, we got to turn over a crystal, play the top three monster spells. God, this, mo this deck is like, it's, it's really throwing everything it can at me. Um, okay, Corrupt. This one says all treasure cards and abilities give one less treasure. That that doesn't really affect uh, affect me, but reinforcements, holy cow, that does. Add a minion's damage and health to the boss. Can I pick either one? Because I'm definitely going to pick this one. That makes this a 17-19. Holy cow. No. Yeah, a 17-19. Holy cow. That's, that's tough. 17-19 this turn. And switch a minion with the boss. Okay, so... Wow. Okay. I think I'll do this one. So now I'm switching the minion with the boss, but I'm still adding a minion's health and attack. So what have we got here? I'll just do this to make it a little bit easier. We've got... Well, we still got... We still got 1917 here. So... 1917. We've got... Yeah. Okay. So we've really got to do a lot of damage here. Can we do it? We drew Loom, which is great, because basically we are going to be uh, reducing his damage. Let's see here. So we're at 1917, but we're going to reduce it down to the minions level, which means that we'll really only be at 1210. Okay, so we are definitely doing that with Loom. So we're at 1210, and we've got our elite guard. We're activating that. We have more than enough to defeat this boss. I'm not even going to take the time to, to track it out because I know that we're generating more than what is than what is there. We take three points, which is more than enough to get us ten points and win the game. Holy cow, that was tough. That was down in the last round. We only had about five or six more crystal cards to draw, but man oh man, can drawing your leader make a difference in this game? Uh, wow, that really speeds things up and allows you to draw what you need. And the other thing is really trashing everything. Once you've got your, your essential five or six cards, trashing everything but just your attacks is super powerful and a viable strategy for sure. Um, I don't know if I played every spell right, and I don't know if I played every crystal card right, but I maybe was close. So hopefully that gives you a really good idea of how the solo game plays, and hopefully that will uh, help you make a decision about whether or not this is something you'd be interested in playing. Um, once again, I used the standard suggested setup for heroes, and I played with green because I really like green's abilities and the leader. This, this Loom the Forgotten leader is amazing, and the, and the base green leader is really good too. So anyway, hope that was helpful. Hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or you just want to call out all the blatant errors I made <laughs> because, because I don't really know if I played this 100% correctly, then please comment below or just email the dicey review at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you at the table.